What's up guys? I hope everybody's having a good day today. It's finally Friday, so we can get excited about that. I'm going to do general readings today for all signs, see what we have going on. Alright, if you could please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, hit that bell button, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments what you think about it. I'm trying to get a feel for these cards, see if I want to use them. I think I do. Um, let's see, what do I want to start off with today? Let's go with Earth Signs. Let's see what we have going on for Earth Signs. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Alright. Taurus first. Taurus, what do we have going on with you today? I feel like I need a couple more shuffles with you. That feels good. All right, Taurus. Let's see. First card we have come out, the Seven of Pentacles. We also have the Ten of Wands. And we have the King of Pentacles. Oops. I can't get it together today. All right, Seven of Pentacles. Check it out. All right. So you're thinking about an investment or you're going to be doing an investment um, that's kind of what it feels like. You're going to be, you know, coming into money, making a profit maybe on this investment that you've done. You also have the Ten of Wands that comes out, okay? Um, let's see. I'm feeling like with this investment, it's been like a lot of responsibility, like a lot of burden. And it's almost like you've put in a lot of money to it. And you're just kind of like, when am I going to get it out? Or you've put in a lot of work. And when are you going to get paid for that kind of thing? But it is coming, right? If you look at this picture, it's like she's carrying all these broomsticks. She's got the cat on her back. Just like, ugh, you know, just like so much crap that's happening. You also have the King of Pentacles um, that comes out. Okay? So, you know, you have... I, I just feel like it. Like now's the time that the payout's going to be. All right? Especially with the, peanut, uh, the King of Pentacles coming out. It's almost like he's chilled, relaxed right? Like, that's what this card looks like. Um, you know, you have people that are going to be supporting you in this um, venture that you're going through. Um, so whatever this burden is that you've been holding, okay, it's it's now, you're now like coming to the light at the end of the tunnel on this, Taurus. Let me pull um, my energy deck here and see. Yeah, you have like, it's a burden of something that you have going on and it is money, um, and you're getting ready to come, you're like, you're getting ready to make a breakthrough is what I feel like. All right. Yeah. You have the world card that comes out. So you're definitely coming to the end of this era. You know, you're finally like overcoming these obstacles and this, you know, shit that you've been going through. Okay, Taurus. These are just going to be quick, general, general readings. But I do feel like Taurus that you are overwhelmed. You're very overwhelmed. All right, so work on that. Know that it is, you know, your time is coming, right? Like, you know, the end of the, the light at the end of the tunnel is like finally coming for you. All right, Virgos. What do we have going on for Virgos? All right, we have the Six of Swords, the Two of Cups, ooh, and the Three of Swords. Okay, so right off the bat, you're leaving. You're leaving this relationship. You've been stabbed in the heart. You've got a heartbreak going on and you need to move on from that okay virgos you are just dealing with a lot of crap you're over it you're done with it and you just you don't want to put any more energy or effort into this like you're done somebody in the relationship is done okay um you could be dealing with a uh, water sign okay uh cancer scorpio or pisces and that's kind of what i'm feeling like and you're just you're over it Somebody's going to, your partner is going to screw up the relationship or maybe you screwed it up. But I'm feeling like it's just, you're tired of it. And you, you just, you're going to walk away. Um, yeah, blossoming abundance. So when you walk away from this, or if you've already walked away from this, um, you have kind of everything that you've been, quote, like wishing for. Like you're going to have that happiness back in your life and you're going to feel like yourself again. All right. So you're basically picking up the pieces and kind of, 
getting back into your old skin, you know, like where you were happy and not so depressed and down. Uh, Capricorn. Let's see what we have going on for you. <clears throat> also, I just wanted to give a shout out. Um, I forgot I was going to do it at the beginning of the video. I wanted to give a shout out to the super chats that um, you guys gave me on my last video. So, to Funko, um, M's Dad, a special shout out to M's Dad. He's a great supporter to this channel. Also, Nerd of the North. And... Crap, I think there was one more. And I can't think of who it was. Oh, uh, Nikki from Craniac. She also donated as well. So thank you so much um, to the Craniacs. And I don't know if there was one more or not. And if I forgot you, I'm so sorry. All right, Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, here's what's happening. You have the King of Wands that comes out, all right? Check this card out, <clears throat> okay? So you're, like, creating almost, like, this new <sighs> image, I kind of want to say, like, because you're, like, kind of going out with the in, or out with the old, in with the new. You're walking away from, like, your past, all right? And you're moving on. You also have the Three of Pentacles that comes out, okay? Check this out. So you're gonna, you're now gonna be working with some people. Um, maybe, maybe you left your job, all right, and you're starting a new job, and you're gonna be working with some people at a new job, okay? Um, that's kind of what's happening right now. You're, you're getting rid of the past. You're moving on to new things, new adventure, and you're letting that go, kind of like a new me type of thing. Let's see what your what comes out for the energy cards for you guys, Capricorn. Ooh. So you have the card of all tied up, but that comes upside down. All right. So you felt, like I said, this is kind of bringing it back to, you're just kind of done with like that old life. You're ready to move on to bigger, better things. Um, and you're releasing all that tension. You're releasing all that buildup, all that negativity. It's gone and you're moving on. And if you have it, you need to make that step to do that. Um, because that's what's coming out for you. So if you're thinking about it, definitely, you know, consider doing it because it's going to be better for you in the long run. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let's do fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's do Aries first. All right, Aries, so you are going to be coming into a new relationship, all right, if you're not in one. You also have the page of, well, the relationship, the person that you could be meeting, look, it's King of Swords, okay? <coughs> Excuse moi. So you could be meeting an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, all right? You also have the page of cups that comes out, okay? So with the page of cups, um, you know, you're putting in like, that thinking or, you know, like you're very emotional, right? It's like a, like water signs, right? Cups are water signs. So you're very emotional, loving. You're bringing that into your life. I think that you are going to meet an air sign, okay? Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Um, because you also have the two of cups that comes out. So you're coming into a new relationship if you are single, all right? Yeah, definitely. I feel like it's going to be good. It's going to be like almost like a surprise. Like somebody that you're not going to that you're not going to normally date, you know? And if you're in a relationship, um like that creative part is coming out. Like you're bringing back that spark into your life or you need to, you know, bring that spark back into your relationship. Look at this. Caring connections pops out. I can't make this shit up. I just can't. Number 14, my favorite number, Caring Connections. So again, if you're single, you're going to meet somebody. It's probably going to be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. All right? And um, this is for Aries, yeah. And if you're already in a relationship, bring that spark back. All right? Because that's what it's lacking. That's what you guys need. You guys need some time together. All right, Leos. Leos. Ooh, 
Leo's. You're also walking away. What are you walking away from? Oh, you have the Magician card come out. All right, so you have opportunities coming. Okay, you also have the Moon. So you're reflecting. You're walking away. You're reflecting on your life and your past. You want to move on. And you're also seeing new opportunities, okay? You have a lot of things that, you know, you can make happen if you start manifesting that. All right, so you need to take action on this instead of sitting around reflecting. You're reflecting too much on your past. You're reflecting, walk away from that, move on, get to the present, get to the future. All right, Leos, let's see what we have for energy for you guys. Hmm, check it out. Magician in the mirror. All right, can't make it up, so... You guys have perfect opportunities. You need to take action on this. Move forward. Stop reflecting on the past. What if, you know, what if this, what if that, shoulda, woulda, coulda, but you didn't. Guess what? Move on. Bada bing, bada boom, huh? Sagittarius. Ooh. Saggies, what do you have going on? Holy smokes. My cards are going all over the place. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ooh. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles come out. We have the Five of Swords. And you have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so... First of all, there's going to be some shit going down. Um... Because you have the Five of Swords coming out. So there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of tension. Um, you're feeling defeated. With the Ten of Pentacles. Well, let me show you this card. Alright. So I think that you guys, maybe you're having money issues. Alright. And you're feeling defeated. And it's like you can't get ahead of the game. And you're trying to get ahead. And you're trying to get ahead. But you're just defeated on it. You have the Queen of Wands that comes out. Okay, so you could be dealing with um, another fire sign um, in this. Um, I feel like it's a relationship, all right? So it's like maybe somebody's spending too much money, um, and you guys are like fighting over that. You know, somebody's spending too much money, or maybe somebody's not wanting to work. Um, it's not good. It's a lot of negative energy. You guys really need to clear the air on that. Let me see what the energy is that comes out to guide you. Yeah, magician in the mirror. So it's time to take action because it's only going to get worse. If you keep letting it go on and go on and go on, it's just going to keep building up, building up, building up this tension. Okay, excuse me. And it's only going to get worse. All right, so make sure you clear the air on that. Get it figured out. Try to work it out. Moving on to our water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, Cancers, what do you got going on? Cancers. Uh oh We got cards flying out. Hold on. Cancers couldn't wait. They got cards flying out. <clears throat> You've got conflict as well, all right? You also have the Five of Cups. Can you see that? There we go. All right, you have the Five of Cups. So you have regret going on. Um, and then you have the Page of Wands, okay? That's going on as well. So you found out something um, about somebody that they probably backstabbed you. Like maybe you helped them out before and then they backstabbed you. Um, and they just turned out to be somebody that, you know, you didn't think that they would towards you. It's like you knew how they were already, but you decided to help them anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. And then they backstabbed you. It's exactly what it feels like. That's the cards that are coming out um, on that. And you have a lot of regret about it. Because they took advantage of you yet again. Let's see what energy comes out for you guys, Cancer. All right, so you have the goddess of the moon. For this, it's a really powerful card, right? It's, to me, it's so many things. In this situation, though, it's like you you need to, I guess, just kind of take this as a lesson, right? Take it as a lesson that 
even though you are good hearted and you are wanting to help people out, there are just people out there that will just take advantage and take advantage and take advantage and they really don't care who they hurt or who they step on, okay? So I need you guys to just kind of think about that because there's somebody that's in your life that has taken advantage of you or they keep taking advantage of you or maybe it's multiple people that are taking advantage of you and the same outcome keeps happening, right? So if it keeps happening over and over, it's like maybe you need to take a look at yourself and what you're doing. Maybe you need to stop helping and kind of you know, take a step back for a minute and just kind of reanalyze that with fresh eyes, right? Um, next up, Scorpio. What do we have going on for Scorpio? All right, we have a celebration going on. What are we celebrating? Oh, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Everything's coming into play. You also have the Queen of Wands come out. All right, so right now, it's it's a great day. I mean, it's a great day for you guys, Scorpio. You have the Queen of Wands coming out, so guess what? You are, <coughs> if you've been sick or you've been feeling sick, you're getting your energy back, I feel like, okay? You have the Wheel of Fortune. You have opportunities coming. Shit is coming into play for you guys. It's time to celebrate. You've done great things. You need to take the time to just kind of give yourself a pat on the back, you know? Kudos to you. Let's check out the energy deck, see what we have for guidance. I love that draw. Let me just show you this. Bada bing, bada boom, huh? All right, Scorpio energy. Well, if I can shuffle, I can't shuffle the dock. All right, here we go. Look at this. You have the thinking woman. All right? You, you're not ready to celebrate. You feel like you can keep going on more and more and more. You need to do good. You need to do better. You need to do better. You need to keep pushing. Take the time to just celebrate for once. All right? Take the time to say, you know what? Good job. I'm going to take a break for just a second just to look at my accomplishments. You know what I mean? To realize what you've done. All right? You don't always have to, you know, keep on the grind. Uh, Pisces. I know, we're blowing through these quickly today, guys. But it's Friday, and I got stuff to do. I got clients to catch up on because I'm feeling better. So, we'll do what we can. Woo! Pisces. Ugh. Let me see. All right, right off the bat, Pisces, we have the King of Pentacles fly out. So, right off the bat, I feel control. Control. Oh, time to celebrate for you, too. You also have the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so I want a little bit of clarification. Ooh, what's this? Four of Cups, huh? Empathy, contemplation. So you're too busy caught up in your thoughts to realize what you've accomplished and what you need to celebrate. Um, Pisces, I need you to kind of get out of your head. You're in your head, you're overthinking things, and you're not allowing yourself to see the good. Um, what do you got here? The second chakra, Archangel Ariel. All right, so you need to check into that. Um, your second chakra is blocked, okay? You're in your head too much. Clear it. Clear it so you can enjoy and be in the moment and be present of what's going on. All right, Pisces? Uh, last but not least, air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius. Ooh. Got a lot of cards flying out here. <sighs> Hmm. Okay, so you have the Judgment card. Well, you have four cards that fly out. You have the Judgment card fly out, but you also have the Knight of Wands fly out. And what I feel on this is it's almost like you're gearing up for battle. Something that's going on. Because look at the dragon back here. He's blown out the fire. You're looking at him. You got the cat back here. Like, what in the hell are you doing? You've got your wand ready to go. 
to fly for battle. You also have the page of cups, so it's like you're going to go through some you're going to go through something or you are going through something. Um maybe you're feeling judged, okay? Um or maybe you're trying to judge it to try to figure out how to get out of this. Um but you have the page of cups and you also have the sun card come out, so you're going to make the right decision or the outcome is going to be good, right? It's going to be in your favor for whatever you have going on. Um, but there's something that's, it's like you're going through hell right now. Um, and you're kind of just going to say, you know what? Screw it. I am going to change this. And this is not how I want to live my life or however it, you know, it, you have like whatever you have going on, it's going to change soon. Um, and then you have a sun card that comes out. So it's like, you're going to have, you know, that happy family or, you know, you're going to be happy with yourself or, you know, maybe you're going to feel better or something like that. Um, but right now it feels like you're going through some shit. You also have door to romance come out. So you could be getting ready to meet somebody new. Okay. Or you just found somebody, um, and maybe you guys are going through some shit now. Um, I don't know. It's weird. It's like, there's a lot of things that keep coming to my mind. One is like court or like a custody battle. Um, and with the door to romance, it's like maybe you are going through a custody battle. And once you get through this, you can finally like move on and move with, you know, meet somebody, you know, and move on and then have that happy family that you wanted. Um, but with Aquarius, you know, there is some stuff that's going on with you right now, but just know that you need to keep on keeping on, keep pushing, um, because it's, it's getting ready to be good. You know, like what you guys have manifested and what you guys want to happen is getting ready to happen. Libras. All right, Libras, first card that comes out. All right, you got the Seven of Swords. Okay, Betrayal, Deception. You also have the Nine of Wands. Check this out. <clears throat> Somebody is like, <sighs> oh, shit. All right, so basically, you're going through some shit. All right, point blank, you're going through some shit. Either it is with your friends or with your partner. Somebody just, like, keeps screwing you over time and time and time again, and and you just keep letting it happen. It's like you want to think that they're going to get better, they're going to do better, but it's it's not going to get better, all right? It's not. So it's almost like somebody's cheating on you, all right? If it's a relationship, somebody keeps cheating on you, or they keep lying to you, or they're not faithful to you, and you just keep taking it and taking it and taking it. And it's not, it's not going to change. If you think it's going to change, it's not going to change, Libra. Point blank. Let me see what I have for an energy card for you guys. Healer of the ages. All right? Until you let go and you release, you can't heal yourself. You're so broken from this. You're so immune to this. You're so used to this that it's just this pattern that keeps continuing. Um, I need you to find a way to break free from it. Because it's not going to change and it's just going to continue to be hostile so there's going to continue to be lies, um, deception, you know, deceit, all kinds. It's just negative all around. All right. And last but not least, Gemini. Oh, you have the King of Pentacles. You have the Three of Cups. You have the death card come out. Why? Why, why, why? Doing a lot of, um... Hmm. You have, you have new beginnings. I mean, it's with a water sign. Um, and it's hanging out with friends and the king of pentacles. What in the hell... Let me see. I want to get a little bit of clarification on this real quick. Ooh, you have the page of wands come out. Check it out. 
I think that you're going to find out that your friends are screwing you over. The next card that comes out is the Two of Wands. You're, you, I think that your friends are going to screw you over. The group that you're hanging out with um, is going to screw you over. And then you are going to have a new beginning and you're going to be creating new things or maybe finding new friends. Um, but your friends or maybe a friend that is acting a certain type of way and you're feeling like they are, um, it's true. Because that's what's coming out Then that's what I feel like. Um, or maybe somebody's stealing your ideas. Either way, I feel like it's going to be... Um, they're basically just going to screw you over. Um, and then you're going to... You're going to just finally, like, be like, all right, see you, done. We're not friends anymore. And you're going to kind of start, basically start over again. Like, I'm not really sure what, but, like, that's what I'm feeling. Like, it's almost like you're going to start over again. Maybe making new friends. I don't know. Or maybe starting something new to make money or something like that. You have the world card come out. So you're definitely going to start over. It's going to be the best decision that you made because you're going to come out stronger in this, Gemini. All right, so I would advise to watch your back. Um, if you feel like one of your friends is like acting a certain type of way, um, they're probably just using you for something. So be careful with that. All right, guys, that was all the signs. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate each and every one of you coming out and joining me. All right, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, hit that bell button. And again, I really, really appreciate all of you that have sent me super chats. I am so grateful for it. It helps, really, really helps my channel out. Even just watching my videos helps my channel out. Um, you know, they're always appreciated. They're not expected. So don't feel obligated to do that, all right? So I hope everybody has a wonderful night. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.